There's always a game before the Super Bowl that you're like, okay, uh, especially when it comes out, you find out who beat who in the wild card round and potentially the uh, divisional round. You're sitting there and you're like, okay, this particular game that, uh, you know, after we're in kind of in the second round here, this is it. Like there is a game where it's just like, okay, this is this could go either way. Both teams are stacked and you're excited. Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Los Angeles Rams game is pretty much that. Like this is basically a Super Bowl. Now, I need to start by saying, this, this is not a channel that likes to give out um, silver linings. Like, you know, if you're a good team and you lose, you lose. That's just kind of how it goes. We do give credit and we do give a lot of props to teams. But, you know, at the end of the day, if neither team between the, the Buccaneers or the Rams win this game, they just didn't get it done. Uh, and we really like to, mainly the reason that we like to raise uh, a lot of hope and um Happiness is for uh, NFL teams like ours, uh, like the Vikings, that just don't have it together yet. But in the case of the Buccaneers and Rams, this is it. Like, this is two good teams, two good quarterbacks. Well, the greatest quarterback of all time, and then Matt Stafford. Um, you have uh, Matt Stafford, who, by the way, has played a, an incredible year, has tied his career high for touchdowns this year. Um, I think he only has either one more, I think it's one more interception than, than uh, the pick that year. Um one more interception than the year of his career high of touchdowns. And so it's like 41 and 17 and 41 and 16 for way back. But point is this, this is it. This is the game where I have circled this and I'm like, okay, this is the game that is basically like a Super Bowl. You have the Rams, Matt Stafford, like we said, had a really good year this year. Um, they've came on and played very well. Their defense has been a major reason as to why they have been successful. Um, obviously, like we said, we, we knew the, the Rams have been building for this for like a couple of years now, ever since they were in the, the, the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. But the Rams are ready. They have built what they needed to. They have gotten the players that, they, uh, that they've wanted to, and this is it. This is just what it comes down to, um, and this is going to be a big game. Now, um, Matt Stafford, obviously, like we said, has been a big reason as to why that I, I think this team has taken such a big leap forward. Sony Michelle and uh, Daryl Henderson are both running the football very, very well. Cooper Cup, though, I mean, like, did we at all think this would happen? Like, I knew Cooper Cup was good, but just one quarterback change, and all of a sudden, Cooper Cup looks like he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. I mean... This is the magnitude of this game. You've got two quarterbacks that just elevate their respective teams. They just do. We knew that Matt Stafford, when he was with the Lions, there just there wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot to be um, to be excited about necessarily because he was really, if we're being honest, he was pretty much the only bright spot other than when they had Calvin Johnson. And you know, uh, respect out to Calvin Johnson though. I feel like I feel a little bit bad for him. But at the end of the day, you know, you've got two teams or excuse me two quarterbacks that elevate their teams and it, this is just going to make for a very interesting game all the way through but um you know like we said you've also got a defense on the rams um you know by the way two of the best defenses in the entire league right here like that it, it doesn't get any better than this you got two teams uh, i'm i'm certainly very excited as you probably can tell um but overall you know the, the rams defense has guys like jordan fuller who has over 110 tackles this year um taylor rapow who had 94 tackles aaron donald is aaron donald he's still amazing 12 and a half sacks this year jalen ramsey um still doing his things this year and you know von miller has really come on as of late and so has odell beckham jr so you know this is what it all is all about um and you have the the, the buccaneers on the other side it's just I, it's gotten to the point now where you're like okay tom brady doesn't age we've accepted that uh I, is, is it the it's almost like the, the curious case of benjamin button except that's like backwards or like he's supposed to be old and young whatever doesn't matter the man doesn't age and he's a very good uh still a very very good uh, nfl quarterback possibly one of the best um uh I, I think he's easily scratch that he's easily a top three quarterback in the nfl right now 43 touchdowns this year 12 picks over 5300 passing yards um and, and the thing to me that's really going to make it interesting is they both both of these teams uh can run the football they both can make plays in the past and the, both of their defense defenses are rock solid uh yeah we mentioned both on the Rams side that is both Daryl Henderson uh and Sony Michelle that have run the ball very well this year but uh, honestly Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones are both two guys that really run the football very well for him um and you know a guy like Keyshawn Vaughn has actually shown a lot this year when he's been given his opportunities but you know uh this is really what it is all about you've got two teams that have been building for this but uh, particularly in the Rams that have been building for this for years to get back to the Super Bowl. They were a quarterback away, I think, the most important position away from being in that spot. And now, like we called it before the end of the season, you can go back in our, our videos. And we said that the Rams would be Super Bowl contenders with Matt Stafford at quarterback. 
I think that's been the case, um, and I think that they are looking every bit of a, a Super Bowl and playoff contending team, but you got the greatest quarterback of all time uh, that's got weapons, that defense is looking good on the Bucks side, like just... You can't build a get up a game any more than this. This is basically a Super Bowl, uh, and this is the kind of games that you wait all year to watch, and this is what it all comes down to. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Um, check out our website at thesportsbriefpodcast.com. Also in the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. Uh, platforms. No, this ain't no farm. Uh, platforms, to make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there. Also, you'll find the links uh, to our iTunes. Please give us a listen and sub there. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Bucks and Rams game basically being a Super Bowl.